Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this axle. First thing I'm going to do is draw a horizontal line and we'll stop there. And then I'm going to dimension it the overall width of the shape. So the shape is 0 0.88, 0 0.88 inches. Okay, and that will give me a great guide for my proportions of what I want to create right here. Now I'm only drawing this blue part, so I can do is just do a general shape like I usually do. I'm going to start here, make sure I'm in line with this guy right here, so it's going to be the same length. I'm going to go ahead and draw this general shape. And probably a little off there, but that's okay, I'll fix it later. Okay and coming down and something like this and make sure I tie in right there and there we go so the general shape is drawn then I can come in and start dimensioning now over here we have these um, diameters and we want to change them to radii because again we're only drawing half of the shape. So I'll just let Inventor do the math here because I don't want to do the math. Okay. So we have 0.19. I'm going to divide that by 2 and that should give me the dimension I need there. Here, 0.25 divided by 2. Excellent. And up here, 0.29 divided by 2. There we go. Same thing over here. 0.19 divided by 2, 0.25 divided by 2, and 0 0.30 divided by 2 as well. Now, finally over here, we got this guy, 0.4 divided by 2, okay? And the last one, it's really hard to see in the drawing over here, but basically I want to have this point right here be the same height as this. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll dimension that as well. And we can just 0.15. I can just tell that it's the same. I could have put 0.30 divided by 2. doesn't matter. So there's the general dimensions of that part. I should have all my heights now figured out. And then I'll continue dimensioning here. And this guy is 0.05. This dimension, 0 0.01, okay. Uh, from here to here, zoom in, sorry, so you can see, uh, 0.25 from, I'm gonna go ahead and fix one thing here, just because I kind of see what would happen if I didn't do it this way, 0 0.07. And from here to here is 0.19. Now the reason I did that 0.7 before I did that 0.19 is I'll just show you what happens if I did it the other way around. And no big deal if I had done it this way. But if I had gone here, oops, sorry, dimensioned here to here and put in 0.19, that would throw my shape off. It looked kind of funky. Okay, no big deal, I can always hit the undo button and fix it. But if I did this dimension first, oops, undo, sorry. Uh, right here, this 0.07, constrain that, and then I change this to my 0.19, that will make sure and go ahead that I do get the proper shape that I'm looking for, okay? So continuing on here, dimension, this guy right here is 0.05, okay, zoom in here, now start to look at the bottom, okay, uh, I'll dimension from here to here, 0.33, okay, and you can see that I've kind of screwed up my overall shape, but we'll fix that in a second, and what I'm going to do then to fix that, we'll go ahead and dimension from here to here, should have put my overall dimension in first, but oh well. That should get me back to the shape I want. And then you can see this guy is big and fat. No big deal here. 
I'm just going to use my collinear here. I'm just going to go ahead and say this guy is equal with this guy because that's how it is on the shape there. Um, that should be it. I think I got that guy pretty dialed in. Okay, and if I'm done, I can go ahead and delete this guy. No longer needed. It was just a reference line, and I can finish sketch. Okay, we'll use the revolve tool. I will make sure my profile is already selected, so then I'll check on my axis. I want to revolve it this way, the full rev revolution. Great. Okay, I can take a look at it. It has that slight slant we we're talking about earlier. Okay, now what I want to do is I need to put this slot in, which is okay. I'll use a plane tool here. And I'm going to create a plane, and I'm going to create it on the axis. So what I want to do is a plane and I want, it looks like I want to use my X, Z axis because if I just hover over them I kind of get a preview of what they look like. The X, Z is going to be perpendicular to that. That is perfect. Enter. And there's my plane. Okay, and if I take a look at it now you can see, okay, I created a plane right on that surface there. It is perfect on there and now we can go ahead and draw this shape and I'll cut it through. So, new sketch. Okay, move this guy over. Okay, so now I'm drawing on the plane that I just created here. Okay, I need some of this geometry here, so I'm going to use the project geometry tool. Okay, I need that guy. I'm going to probably want these just to be sure. Well, it doesn't really matter, but you know, just in case we need them, we have them now. Okay, and I want to create a shape. It looks like it is 0.4. So let's just create a rectangle, It'll be the easiest way to do it. Okay, and my dimension here is 0.04, and my length here is 0.2. Okay, but I also want it to be in the center here. So what I will do is from here to here, I'm gonna have to do a little math, but let's see. My overall diameter of this top is 0.3. I can see that right over here. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little formula in here, and I will say point parenthesis 0.3. I'm going to then subtract my 0 0.04, which was the width of this guy right here, parenthesis, and I'll divide by two. That should perfectly center it right in there like that. Finish sketch. Okay, I'll use my extrude profile. I want this shape right here to cut. I want to go distance all. Okay. Should have that. There we go. Perfect. Just like it looks right there. Don't want to look at this work plane, so I'm going to turn off the visibility. Just right clicked on work plane. Check visibility. And you guys are done. Enjoy.